Welcome back, Wild Ravens. Uh, I'm off to explore the strawberry line. I will be staying on a campsite. But Wild Ravens Adventures isn't all about the wild, isn't all about the camping. It's about the things I get up to. So get back to you in a bit. Uh, this is base camp for my walk of the strawberry line. I will show you my setup. Okay, we've got the OEX Fox Two V Fox One V Two. Uh, I haven't done the last of the guy lines. Can't really be bothered. Um, I've got the vent at this end open. I've got the vent at the other end open. It's a little bit of a weird one to set up, but um, set up. A sleeping bag, my cheap self playing mattress, and my silver reflective mat. Uh, on the other side, through that door, I'm using it for storage. I've got my backpack, the gap at this end, I've got the bags and pouches that everything came in. I'm trying out a uh, little gas stove tonight. And I came equipped with coffee. This is the bridge in Cheddar that would have led up just before the station coming in from it's like Wells and Glastonbury direction. And look at this masonry. It's pretty awesome. I wonder whether this was, I think this might have been a drove road, but I mean, just look. Two arches, river. More of this to come tomorrow. Well, my wild ravens, camp is set. Finally got the tarp up. that time of night. I'm sat in front of the fire. And I have some of that. Cheers. Okay, my wild ravens. Good night. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my wild ravens. First impressions of this OEX Fox 1B2. Ah. Uh, a lot more spacious than my gear top bivvy. Not as spacious as the Out Sunny or that uh, Combat UK tent, but this is a two layer tent and little or no condensation that I noticed. But then again, the air temp wasn't too bad last night, so about 16, according to the thing. And to the weather app. Uh, I didn't get to sleep till after midnight. Uh, new site. Uh, woken up by the industrial estate just over there. Basically the plan is 
cup of coffee. And then the strawberry line. Catch you in a bit. Just passed through. Where Cheddar Station would have been. It's now an industrial estate. There is little or no sign of any infrastructure left. Uh, which is a shame, but then again. There's a building over there. Looks very engine shed-ish, but it's too modern. Um, Get back to you if I find uh, anything fun. My first proper find on actually hitting starting this rocket line. Um, just look at the, the way the masonry is at an angle. Right. Oh, railway bridge. I am actually on the track bed. New thingy down for a housing estate. It's nice to actually be able to walk along the track bed. The big reservoir. It's the yacht club. Yeah, when I said I was on the track bed, what I actually should have said is I'm on the line of the track bed. Because uh, as you can see, there's little or no evidence of it being a railway line. It's now technically classed as a psycho path. That was cycle, not psycho. <laughs> I'm just passing through Axe Bridge. Uh, I'm not on the uh, track alignment because the bypass now follows that. Um, I don't even know if Axe Bridge had a station, so I'll get back to you in a bit. Just left Axe Bridge and I'm now back on the line of the track bed according to the map. These aren't too shabby. There's a graveyard up here. This is one hell of an embankment. It doesn't look so good. And I think there's another bridge up ahead. Looks like we go over it, I think, judging by this. Just over three miles, nearly four miles of the, uh, of the line. There's no bridge. Bridge is gone. Uh, just a very, very bit of a, uh, not a scary main road to cross. Here's a wildlife to cut a conduct. 
<laughs> Got a convict. This is shoot shelf. Info on the shoot shelf. Shoot shelf tunnel. First railway tunnel. And as this is on the National Cycle Route, I can get in it. I don't know how long it is. Uh, but there's a major embankment in here. Embankment ing <laughs> here. Because a rock above it. We are walking through this. Because <laughs> we can. Uh, I'm kind of not surprised really that Paul and Rebecca, Rebecca Whitwick haven't done this yet. I haven't seen it on their. Uh, Line in the rocks um, on their channel. This there is no there's no brickwork. There is absolutely no brickwork. This is amazing. Okay, going in. There's no brickwork, this is just carved. Double line, I guess. Yeah, my, uh... I didn't think of bringing a flashlight. Or oh, fool me. Another one. Another one. It's very drippy. bright enough to illuminate the walls of the tunnel, especially if I pointed upwards. Because we're coming to the other northern port. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, we've got massive masonry. masonry which is weird because half is brick on one side maybe they had to replace some of the masonry who knows 
And this is where construction of the strawberry line began in 1867. The first turf was cut with a silver shovel. Shovel. Solar powered lighting has been provided so that we travel through the 180 meters, which changes from soft marl at this end to hard limestone on the other, using the refuges was built into the rock for the workers. Okay, we appear to be approaching the site, the former site of Winscombe Station. Another notice board up ahead. Once again, no infrastructure, but at least it marks the position. Hello. <laughs> Small dog. Yeah, no infrastructure. I think Sanford's the first one we're actually going to hit, which is the next station actually. And it's a heritage centre. Got another bridge up ahead. The bridge. Water pipeline. A pretty standard bridge, this one, by the looks of it. Uh, masonry. Again, built at an angle. That seems to be a very, very common, common theme. I've seen them all the bridges on this line to now. I'm going to guess what I've just found. The Winscombe and Sanford Old Station. The station wasn't all the way back there. And this old station green established by Winscombe and Sanford Millennial Green Trust in the year 2000. Twenty years ago. Site of some old station buildings. We'll do. As I come up on the other end of the platform and we will uh, have a look. Those tracks can't be in the right place. There was one right. Jumping halt, a little bit there. Pictures of the old station, thank you to uh, the Millennial Green and the signboard. It's like the former Winscombe Railway Station and Yard. And Yard. I'm guessing this was the frontage of the... According to... This billboard, this, this site covers five acres. The station house, so that is the frontage, was torn down in 1970. <sighs> so we've got a map. It's not the actual one. Another. Drove trackway bridge. Another bridge. 
And there's this one skew with like the others. No. Nice big wide masonry arch. And the brickwork is straight. The bridge. Same as the last one, nice big wide arch. Brick works straight. Rural Lagway, opened in 1869. This looks like the site of the Sanford and Vanwell uh, station, possibly even a halt. platform to me. Sanford Station. Now we'll see if we can get a little bit of a look. Let's just start tipping it down. This is Sanford Station. sheds, etc. Well, the heavens opened. I've got to Sanford Station, which I'm quite happy with. Um, I'm now going to walk the five, almost six miles back to Cheddar. And as I've lost my baseball cap, hope that either I find it on the way back or I can get another one. Anyway, stay wild. As the sun sets, Petrovlanix. Adieu. Bye bye. Till next time. And remember, stay wild.